You know what I'm saying? Hello, what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra, your favorite hype girl. Hey, what's up? Hello. Today's video is as simple as it gets. We are doing a what's in my gym bag video, but not much of an intro here. We're just going to jump right into the video. As far as my gym bag goes, let's go ahead and start with the outside. My gym bag is a Gymshark Hold All. I cannot remember the exact name of this bag. I unfortunately know they don't have it on the site anymore, you guys. I'm so sorry. I've literally had this bag for like two years, I think. I want to say something around that. I've had it for a minute. However, I did see um, before making this video, they have a, another hold all on there. It's called the LC hold all. I'll put it on the screen as well as link it below. It is in stock. I don't know what the stock is on that, obviously, but get it while you can if you're looking for a decent gym bag that is large enough to carry a tripod. Um, this uh, gym bag, I love it because it has a place for you to put your shoes. Now for the fun part. Okay. Where do we start? There's so many guys! Okay, so, you know, your girl, we're trying to get the booty gain, so we do have to make sure we don't kill our hip bones because that's not fun. So, I actually just have this um, squat pad or whatever you want to call it. I just use it strictly for when I'm doing the barbell hip thrust so I can prevent myself from any future pains. It came with a set with a couple of other pieces that are in this gym bag. Um, I believe this was a set with this, ankle straps, a resistance band, and I want to say one more thing came with it. So next what I have in my bag is these are LNA movement bands. This one I believe is the, this is definitely the heavy. And I do be using this and I, every time I do, I struggle, I cry, I crawl around the floor. Hallelujah. Um, and this I believe is their medium resistance band. Just as good. Love that. They're very sturdy. They are very strong. I will link them below. Next, what I keep in my gym bag is just a backup water bottle. I'm happy it's in there because I know as soon as I take it out will be the day that I don't bring a water bottle. Um, working from home and everything, I'm able to um, prepare my water bottle typically before I leave and I do carry that with me to the gym. The next thing that I'm pulling out of my magic bag is a tripod. This is literally the tripod. If you guys follow me on Instagram, this is the tripod I take my pictures with that I do Bonnie and me with. Oh my goodness, Bonnie and me. Um, so I actually got this from Amazon. It does come with like a ring light, a detachable one, obviously, that you can screw on here. Otherwise, I do film my like YouTube videos with this, but for the sake of like needing the tripod for the video, um, I use my other one. Um, it comes with um, an adjustable holder here for your iPhone. You can move it all around. These are also adjustable as well and I believe it goes up to like 54 inches or something along those lines. It also comes with a few other pieces. So next what I keep in my gym bag, I actually keep this in my house but I take it with me to the gym each time um, because the stuff is good and you know when I run out of the original cup I do want to make more if I'm in the gym especially if I am doing a longer workout. This is a women's best BCAA amino. This is the um, iced tea lemon flavor. Woo! Let me tell you if you guys like I think it's um Arnold's Palmer is the name. If you guys like that a whole vibe I will have the link for you in bio um this video is not sponsored or anything by them however I am an affiliate so if you choose to use my link that does help to support me directly as well as build my relationship with women's best so what I keep in my gym bag now is some towels now I do keep a couple of these in my bag because um, they do come in handy on the days it might be a little bit hotter in the gym or my pre-workout is slapping a little bit harder than usual. Um, I'm not a fan of having like sweat running down my back so I'm very particular especially if I'm doing like hip thrusts so I'm not sliding around or anything. We almost made it to the end you guys. Like I said before with the squatting pad that I use for my hip thrust um, that came with a whole set. These are the um, ankle bands that that set came with. I actually need some new ones because they are just like ripping the strips. But simple as it comes is a Velcro, put it through the hoop, Velcro it on your ankles. I don't use these a whole, whole lot. But when I do, clearly they don't last very well. But when I do, they come in handy and they're simple. It does have a bit of padding on the inside so it won't really hurt your ankles. I have very tiny ankles and I really haven't had a problem Last but not least, we know, we know it's a gym day without headphones and music, you guys. I 
Whoa, I leave these in my bag. I will charge them um, like probably once a week and leave them in my bag. They usually last me, um, even if I don't use them, because I usually use my AirPods, especially if um, I'm with someone in the gym. So I carry my AirPods in my purse. So I always have my purse with me. I don't personally keep any like hygienic items in my gym bag. So everything hygienic wise, spray, um, tampons, lotion, gum, things like that, I usually keep in the purse that I'm carrying and I keep that in my locker. But that is it, you guys. This shoe's pretty much empty. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this video. I know it's super short, but it's to the point. That's all we need. So be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my vlogs. Thank you guys very, very much, and I hope you enjoy.